the urban stealth camper van man. You know it makes sense. A conspiracy free zone. Hello, how you doing? Ah, oh, God, blimey, what an eventful day I've had. Well, eventful few hours, put it that way. Um, I've been in the garage uh, painting and uh, twiddling my thumbs and uh, eating vast man's food. That's what I normally do. So, you know, I thought I'd go to the shop, get some supplies, uh, mostly uh, tea bags of milk and the odd cheeky Jaffa cake. I thought I'd come back um, and I thought I'd sit in the van for a bit, you know, um, put the TV on because I can't get no uh, satisfaction. I can't get no, um, I can't get the pictures, you know, signal in me. Uh, pictures, what a dick. I can't get the uh, normal terrestrial TV in the garage because I, I haven't got an area on the roof. So I thought I'd make myself, make, make myself a cup of tea in here. I put a new gas bottle in, so I thought, you know, um, make myself a cup of tea, watch uh, TV for a while. I either stay in here for the night or go back to the garage. The choice is mine. Um, but as I got in here, I thought, you know, it's a bit damp in here, you know. Trust me, a little bit damp and a little bit chilly. It's nothing like I'm a southern fairy, as you can tell, right? Up north, it gets proper cold. I can imagine that is. Um, really chilly that's why you chaps up there and chapettes have the old porridge and you've got the rosy cheeks and that you know down south um my staple diet as a kid was ready brick you know a poor um equivalent to uh to porridge you know i don't think it even had a note in it you know it definitely didn't give me that ready brick glow i had the crafty cockney walk but you know that's the story but um yeah, so it was a little bit damp in here and that, and I thought, do you know what, I'll, I'll put the uh, diesel heater, a heater on for a bit and have a cup of tea and uh, watch a bit of news and just chill out a little bit because it gets lovely. The good thing about this van, with that heater, it gets lovely in here. Really, 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 really toasty. So, uh, um, yeah, it's never missed the beat yet, right? So, put the heater on and that, and... Uh, Boom, 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 with the old pump and that. And uh, it usually goes for about two, three minutes, the old pump, and then it fires on. Five minutes after that, you're, you're stripping off because it's that hot. Three minutes into it, it conked out. And I thought, nah, what's going on here? This thing is never, and I mean never, let me down, right? So I'm thinking, Jesus, we haven't even touched the, uh, the winter yet, and uh, it's uh, already having trouble. So I've done a little bit of investigation. Right, well, I'll leave the video there, right? And I, I, I videoed it, right? So I will add that now, right, with my excellent editorial editing skills. And I'll add that to it now, right? And, um, yeah, uh, there was a prize for being as thick as, uh, you know what, I would have, uh, I would have got it. Stupid boy, stupid. Well, right, I'll show you it. All right, I'll bring you back in a second. All right, see you in a bit. Right, uh, my diesel heater's just stopped and it come up. First time it's ever come up with a code, right? And so I thought, oh, well, hello, you know, typical. Um, and I thought, it's got fuel in it, you know, it's not full to the top, but uh, you know, when I next put diesel in the, the van, I usually top it up a little bit. Um, you know, it's got a fair bit in there, you know, nowhere near the top, but it's got a fair bit in it. Um, yeah, can you see the design flaw? That's where it sucks it in. <laughs> I should have put it underneath down there. Oh, what a dickhead. <laughs> Do. Uh, that's the line, look. That's the line of the fuel. And uh, what a plum. Just how noisy is this exhaust that night? Um, do you know what? It's not. It doesn't sound too bad, but you know, 12 o'clock at night on a residential street, it can be a little bit, uh, a little bit noisy. Um, I don't know. It sounds like kick down a gear there, but um, I don't think it. Overall, I don't think it's too bad. To be honest, um, I think it sort of echoes in the van, resonates maybe. I don't know. A bit posh word, but. Uh, yeah, I think it's too bad. I looked here and I thought, it's got diesel in it. Surely, surely it must be working. 
Um, I fitted it with utmost skill and uh, with my DIY god-esque uh, abilities. Um, surely I couldn't have done anything wrong. And then I had another look and uh, yeah, not the brightest, uh, not the brightest uh, spark. Definitely uh, a full, a few sandwiches short of uh, a picnic, eh? But um, yeah, I'm just pumping it out there because uh, I've developed uh, an air block. Air block, yeah, or something like that. So, uh, but I know I had to pump it. I, I, when I changed the van before, uh, I got an air, air, air block, an air lock, or block, I don't know, whatever. Um, and that happened before. There's plenty of videos on YouTube to tell you that. There's two couple of buttons and it just pumps it for a bit. Um, primes it, that's the one. But I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. How stupid. But never mind, panic over. Panic over. And uh, I knew I knew it, the the, uh, the heater uh, wasn't uh, playing up. Because um, that's, that's never, like I said, never missed a beat. It's, it's been a freaking godsend. Um, game changer, as some might say. Um, yeah, all right. I've, uh, I'll bring you back in a minute just for... Uh, um, to show you a picture. I'm lost for words today. I'm all flustered. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll show you a, a painting, what I've done. You know, you can you can go and run for the hills now, I suppose, because uh, not everyone likes my paintings, but, uh, you know, it's a bit all different. So uh, I'll, I'll show you my picture. Right, I'll see you in a sec. Right, just a quick introduction to this painting. It's called, um, it's a bit of a play on words again. Um, it's called Electoral Dysfunction. Um, it's, I've got to uh, watch myself when I say that because the, you know, we've all seen the adverts about men at a certain age have a, a certain other dysfunction. Womble. Um, it's nothing to do with that, right? It's electoral, electoral dysfunction, right? Um, right, there you go. It's enough of the what will I show you. In electoral dysfunction. Hold on, let me straighten it up a touch. Um, yeah, there you go. A bit funky. It's a bit, uh, if you've got a uh, phobia with clans, uh, you know, you're probably turned off by now. But, uh, yeah, I think it's definitely, uh, it's definitely hitting uh, a statement somewhere along the line. Someone said to me, is it on card or board or paper? It's, it's on canvas. Um, oops. Yeah. On canvas, all hand painted by myself. Uh, yeah, there you go. See, that's what I do with my uh, with my time. <sighs> dear, oh dear! I thought I'd be uh, painting scary clowns at my age, eh? But I think that's quite funky. That one, I quite like that one myself. But um, I think I'll say that about all of them. But uh, never mind. Right, I'll uh, catch you later and. Um, I'm gonna put that outside for tonight because it's freaking me out a little bit. I'm only joking. <laughs> right, I'll speak to you later. Tell her.